Good afternoon, friends. Drew here in beautiful West Grove, Pennsylvania, uh, on this uh, deck and patio project that we've been working on here for a bit. And uh, we came back today, and we were able to finish some of the drainage system, and I kind of want to walk you through that, let you see what's been going on. So we had this downspout here, uh, which at one point was on the back of the house, where the downspout came down the back side of things. And because of where the deck was, that was going to get in the way of the downspout, so we put a new gutter up top here so we could move the outlet location and bring the downspout down the side of the house. Now, we had to put in a drain at some point in the future. We're probably going to screen this porch in and put a ceiling in, and then we'll show you that in follow-up videos when we get to that point. But we were concerned that today we wanted to blow into the stream where we wanted the waste water to get out, so we, when we were doing the cement work, we put in a drain on this side of things to allow water to get out. That hits an underground pipe, which we just left to daylight to start out with until we were able to get back here and kind of finish things up. So that drain was in the ground in the cement work. We decided we wanted to pick up this downspout because they're going to put some gardens and some landscape and some planters in here, and we didn't want to, uh, to have this downspout dropping all that roof water uh, because it is a fairly substantial and sizable amount of roof that's dropping down in that gutter. we got this whole back quadrant here, uh, and I may not be able to get far enough away for you to be able to see it, but um, there's a fairly decent sized section of roof that's coming down through that downspout. So rather than just dropping on the side of the house, we thought it made sense to put that into uh, an underground drain. So, flip the camera around this way. So we piped that in right along this edge here. Came down, we put in a Y, and we had to do some elbows to get it where it needed to be. That comes underground here. And because the ground slopes off so harshly, and I'll step out here where you can see it, you know, because that dirt level drops down, we had to put a couple elbows in actually to drop the drain pipe and, and make the grade down to get it so that we were picking up the drain out of the cement and the one up there, but yet dropping far enough down to avoid this step here. Uh, so that comes underground, uh, transitions into uh, the black corrugated pipe, and then comes out here. So what we've done here is put in a three foot deep dry well, uh, three foot deep, about 18 inches around, filled with stone. We drilled five holes in the bottom of the drain box. The water comes into that drain box, goes down through those holes. If that dry well fills, if the ground doesn't perk fast enough, to handle the amount of volume of rainwater that, that gets down, dumped down in there from the gutter um, and from that small little hole, the small little drain port on the uh, patio system, then it's just going to bubble out over the top of this um, storm drain and run across the lawn and back into the backyard. Uh, and that's one of the ways I really like to do this. I don't like to pop up drains because I don't have a way to ensure that they don't freeze in the wintertime with this system and being able to put those drain holes in the bottom. Pretty good chance we're not going to have a problem with water freezing in there. If it's melting, it's warm enough to come in, it's warm enough to perk and, and go down. Um, and with having five drain holes, if one of them gets clogged up, uh, we have some uh, other options. So the second thing that we did is we took some of the dirt that we hauled out of the hole to make room for the stone, and we used that to put around our patio step here. This was a bit of a harsh drop-off because of how we extended and raised the level of the deck. And so now we've got to slowly bring the yard up uh, to that height. So we used some of the dirt that we had to do here, and uh, the landscaper's going to come in probably in the spring and then we'll probably finish grading this out to get it where it needs to be and over here on this side. And again, I'll step back so you can kind of see. We'll see if the sun will work with us here. We've got this left-hand roof off the peak and uh, all of the entire rain escape uh, water management system underneath the deck here draining down onto this right-hand side. So that comes down these two downspouts. And again, before we poured the cement, you may remember seeing that we had these uh, white pipe set up in here into the cement. Both of them tie together in a Y and we left that just hanging right out here next to the step. So today again our crew came in and trying to maintain, you know, working with the slope of the yard and it was pretty harsh. We actually put in some elbows to drop that drain line down to get it down to the proper height where it needs to be. And then over to this drain box, same thing, three foot deep dry well, about uh, 18 inches round underneath here and filled that with stone and then uh, put the drain box on top, drilled five holes in the bottom of it, and that is now set and ready to go. And really just need a couple rainstorms to help kind of tamp this uh, dirt in and get it where it needs to go. And we could really beat the heck out of it, but being that we're very late in the fall season, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to get super involved with that right now. We're going to let Mother Nature take its course, and uh, the landscape guys are going to come through here in the spring and probably make everything real pretty. So no sense in the customer paying for that work twice. So that's, that piece is together. We're real happy with how that came out. And so this is uh, pretty solid now. They've got a beautiful patio space. they got a beautiful deck space. The underneath is dry because of the rain escape system. All that water comes down 
We'll show you the gutter here. All of the water in these troughs flow out to the outer edge, hit those funnels, and then drop into that downspout, into that, into that rain gutter. They come over here to this downspout, flow down that downspout into the pipe and out to the drain box. And so we've got these funnels all the way across the entire deck system. And the rain escape is pretty cool the way it ties in. They actually flat, we actually flash that into the house so that tie deck comes down actually over that to ensure that all the water winds up in those funnels down here. And then one of the next projects that we're talking about is putting up some sort of a beadboard ceiling, uh, wrapping, in, installing a faux beam down this side, bring a faux beam down this side. That's going to give us something continuous for us to run that uh, ceiling into. We're going to put some provisions in for some electric and a uh, ceiling fan and some lights and some motion lights out back and those kind of things. And then we're going to wrap in the gutter and wrap in this front beam in uh, white Azax or Versatex. And we will put uh, some white vinyl soffit up on the outside. That'll be You can take that apart and reach your hand in if you ever need to get over to clean the gutter or to shoot a garden hose up these troughs to clean them out for whatever reason. You'll have the ability to do that to the soffit. This side in here will actually be more, a little bit more fixed and, and steady. You're not going to want to be pulling that apart because of the beadboard system. And uh, that's going to go up. And then at some point in the future, we're talking about putting the same beadboard product on these walls. We're going to uh, put in some screening rooms, some uh, screening and half walls all the way around here. And then the back side of that half wall is going to have that same uh, beadboard system on that as well. So looking forward to, to bringing those pieces of the project to you. And uh, it's going to be exciting when it's all said and done. So, uh, But the customer's got a beautiful space they can use down here. You can sit out back at night. You can watch the deer come through. And uh, you, gotta, you know, if it's raining upstairs, you just come down here and you can enjoy watching the, the rainstorms pass through if they're not too crazy. It is a beautiful, beautiful space, beautiful stamped concrete patio out here, and uh, much more usable and versatile than the uh, the brick that they had. And of course, no no deck up above. Before the deck ended, right the deck ended right here. This this was the end of the deck, and so you had that much, but you didn't have this covered. And I'll spin this around the other way so you can see. There's the joint where the old deck used to end. The the, the old patio doors weren't covered. They didn't have coverage over them, so you couldn't come out here in the rainstorm without getting soaking wet in the process. So now that these decks have been extended all the way across, that really makes a huge world of difference for them. And as far as the usable space goes down here, and uh, with the kids running around and everybody being home, that's important. So this is pretty exciting. Like I said, next step is going to be getting that uh, beadboard put up, and that'll be a whole other series of videos that we'll be running uh, when we get to that phase of things. So this is Drew in beautiful West Grove, Pennsylvania. If we can help solve a problem for you, build a custom dream home, a garage, an addition on your house, an in-law suite, finish your kitchen, sorry, finish your basement, uh, renovate your kitchen, remodel your master bathroom, uh, anything on the exterior, siding, roofing, windows, doors, decks, uh, your plumbing, your electrical stuff inside, drywall work. Our team does it all. We have a dedicated office staff standing by to answer your phone calls weekdays, 930 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at 484 748 0008 choose option two for cope built your full service construction and renovation company and extension two for new projects we are a licensed registered insured pennsylvania home improvement contractor number 88078 remember we're done with it you're gonna be proud to say it's not just done it was cope built we'll catch you guys in another video thanks for watching bye for now